What's up guys at Interweb? Today we're going to do a little knife review for you. Um, the long anticipated wait is over and here it is. We've got this giant of a knife here. Nope, just kidding. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Today we're looking at the down under knives outback buoy. And I hate to really call this a knife review because that would give you the impression that I'm going to say something negative some pros and cons about this knife and there's absolutely no cons whatsoever it's all 16 inches of a beautiful knife it's the closest thing that i've seen to the crocodile dundee knife ever and i've always wanted one so now i have it and this thing's got some serious heft to it i could seriously i could baton my way through this log if i wanted to so but i'm not because this knife is not really made for that. As you can see, it doesn't even have a scratch on it, and it probably never will. If I want to do something like that, I've got my Topps Desert Steel right here. But we'll talk about that one later. This one, however, it's not practical, I'm sure. But nobody ever said being cool and practical were the same thing. So it is a cool knife. If you're not familiar with Crocodile Dundee, you need to pause the video right now. Go check out Crocodile Dundee. And then you need to go check out Crocodile Dundee 2 and then number 3. 3 is not so good, but it's got Paul Hogan in it. It's got Crocodile Dundee. So it's definitely worth the watch. But the knife itself, super heavy, super thick. I mean, if you couldn't slice them to death with it, it's heavy enough you could probably beat them to death. But I would bring out the little paper for you and show you just how sharp it is out of the box. But you're not using a knife like this to cut paper. You're using it to stab crocodiles and skin bears and stuff like that. So that's what I use it for anyway. But in all seriousness, it's a nice piece worth every dime that I paid for it. It never gets used, but just hangs on the wall looking pretty. And they even have this sweet sheath that comes with a super thick leather. Nice little crocodile imprint here. Got a little knife sharpener. Some faux bones on there, looks pretty cool. But it's an awesome knife. If you're in the market for a buoy knife, this is the one I would go for. I don't, again, don't know what you'd use it for, but it looks cool as heck. All right, thanks for watching. We'll come back with some more reviews later.